are both going to be doing the book review today so as you know um we've both been reading a book AJ's reading the fire starter and i'm reading the goblet of fire by jk rowling so harry potter series and um well yeah so if you have watched my book club last night if you haven't i recommend going to watch that so you know what i'm talking about today um we read four i think it was four three pages of that book of the unforgivable curses chapter 14. um so yeah just a quick update every tuesday for aj and thursday for me i'll be uploading a wisdom world video so this will be a main instead of a main channel video it will be me doing um a video to go into my wisdom world playlist and Asia every Tuesday will be doing a cozy corner. Her videos are kind of like a chatty corner, just chatting. And mine is just going to be Harry Potter based. So we may look into further, like we might d go into the depths of the books. So we can find out more about them. And maybe things that we haven't seen when we've been watching. Or something like that. That's probably what I'll be doing in my videos. And Asia will be having little chats in hers. So... We're both reviewing where we got up to yesterday with our book. I've got my book here. And we got up to... Um, I think we got up to... Crucio. No, we did that bit. Avada Kedada, we did that bit. Trying to figure figure out what we got up to. Stop it! I think so. It's the in. It was a dark arts lesson, and Madai Moody has just shown the three unforgivable curses, and it's we're doing. It was Imperio, and um. This is when they take con total control over the spider. And we have read that. And we've read this. So far, hard finding out where I got to. Anyway, so Hermione's been late for lesson. Well, just on time for lesson when everybody else was quite early because they were really excited because there's been a lot of talk about Madai Moody as he was. Well, he used to collect all of Dark Wizards before he retired for the um, Ministry of Magic. And um, they've just... So, they've just got to lesson. And Neville has put his hand up to say one of the curses, which I think he said... Um, Cruciatus Curse. That's what he said. So that's Crucio, known as. And Neville Longbottom has his pet. Basically, if you don't know about Harry Potter, you. this probably isn't a video for you, to be honest, because I will be talking a lot about Death Eaters and that. So when Voldemort had his years and he was, f like pretty much a dark wizard at the time and everybody feared him there was his death eaters so his followers and one of them was Bellatrix Lestrange you probably have heard of her if you watch Harry Potter anyway she killed I think she killed ne yes yeah, she did she killed Neville's parents by using the Cruciatus curse so it gives him to like so much pain and she tried to make them, because Harry and, well, Lily and James Potter, Harry's parents, um, Voldemort was looking for at that time, I think. And um, 
but they needed his secret keeper. And that's where Petty grew and Sirius Black came in in the Prisoner of Azkaban. So, because there was the Order of the Phoenix, which if you haven't, again, watch Harry Potter, you won't know about, um, they had the headquarters. Um, Neville, so Alice and Frank Longbottom were part of the Order of the Phoenix, so Bellatrix was um, giving them constant pain until they like obviously revealed their secret keeper for James and Lily so but they didn't give up and they both died from Bellatrix the Strange so um yeah so that's the Crucia Cruciatus curse I know that with you guys, I got up to when Madai Moody said, you think it's funny, do you? I can make it drown itself. Um, that's definitely where I got up to you, with you guys. And I'm just looking for that part now. So... I think that's her. Here it is. The laughter died away almost instantly. Total control, said Moody quietly, as the spider balled itself up um, and began to roll over and over. I could make it jump out of the window, drown itself, throw itself in, throw itself down one of your throats. Ron gave, Ron shuddered, and that's where I got to with you guys. And basically from this point on, um, B, so the Ministry of Magic said that the the fourth years shouldn't be learning about the unforgivable curses because they're the three most powerful curses of all time. But um, Dumbledore, has, Dumbledore has said otherwise and that they shouldn't learn counter curses. They should learn about these curses because every he's saying that everybody's got to be prepared for the worst and that's what also Mad Eye Moody agrees with. So they're using right now the Wizarding Law. Yes, this is. So Ron just said, my dad told me about one. Is it called the Imperious Curse or something? That's what he just said. And then Moody says, ah, yes. Your father would know about that one. It gave them the show a lot of trouble at times with the Imperious Curse. Now the Imperious Curse gives con total total control. Once you're under the Imperious Curse, you can't, like, you do whatever the person that is performing the curse wants you to do. So, so far, we have just finished the lesson, I think, after we've done Avada Kedada, which I'll be reading with you guys tonight. I think I've already read a few, I think because basically the point of the book club is that you keep up with us and read on. I got up to when Neville was standing outside and um, for Mad Eye Moody has just said, come on, let's go get a drink, Sonny. So that's what I'll be reading with you guys tonight. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in tonight for the book club and we'll be reading three more pages. I can't wait. I'm really excited. Anyway, see you all soon. Bye.